All right, round two. Like I was saying before, I, I like it, but I don't. Overall, for what it is and for what it's supposed to be, I'm not impressed. Um, I like it. It's fun. It, it operates. It'll reach out and touch someone. You could probably, having never actually fielded a weapon before, I don't know how well it would fare in, in Woodland, but it'll go out and, you know, out 150 feet, fair enough, where you could, you know, pick off a few people in a few bursts. But you'd probably want to wait for extension kits for this thing. Speaking of kits, I don't... This metal, I mean, nice metal, too. Uh, I don't want to take a wrench to it because I'll have to repaint the thing since I'm a firm believer in the orange tips. Your, uh, I mean, it's got these little slots behind the thing, and I'm not seeing any kind of threading. All I'm seeing is probable glue, which means it's going to be a pain in the ass to get the thing off. So, I don't know how, well, especially considering this little number right here. I don't know how well uh, any kind of like custom work will end up working out. You know. What crap. Uh, yeah, you probably won't be able to tell, but the bottom mag has condensation inside the plastic. That's going to work out real well. Ugh. These things, uh, the way G36 mags work together and stay together I'm not gonna trust them because I mean they, these just feel weak and feel like they're gonna break and it's such a pain to get them together and apart it just makes it even worse because you can't just pop it in and twist it because it just works itself out of the little channel so you have to pop it in hold it down and then finally close it um, loading I've talked about loading before loading on this thing is it's a pain in the ass. Uh, as far as I can tell, it's self-destructive because after only a few mags, there there's you know noticeable wearing on the lips themselves. Um, which I don't know how that's going to work out. It, it'll probably hold the BB still after you know several hundred fills, but I don't know. Uh, what I do is. This is the included speed loader. It's got the little lip thing on the end that you would stick over the loading lips. Uh, it's got a mark marked out 5, 10, and 15 rounds. And it's got the little plunger for it. I don't use this. Uh, I did for a while, but it got really old and I, I realized I could use a regular speed loader. What you have to do is hold both front and back of this thing and just kind of go down at a slight angle as if you're just shooting, you know, pushing the BB straight into the corner and then just pump it until it doesn't feed anymore. Um, that's not exactly reliable because you don't know if you've got a full magazine or not, but what I usually do is whenever I'm feeding it, I can, I can guesstimate how many times I have to push the plunger down and be good. But you'll always have BBs left over because you'll push down and it'll jam up and then you got the BB spilling everywhere, so just pick one up and try to push it down. If you can't get it in there, you're full. If you can get it in there, give it another try with the plunger. Um, let's see. Like I said, I, I like the, 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 sh the stock on this. It's really nice. It locks it in place real well. Um, the, uh, the, overall, the overall finish on it is real nice. Uh, this this foregrip is really nice, really, really nice because it's got absolutely no glare whatsoever. Uh, you can see, uh, you know, in, in person, of course, you can see a, a definite difference in the, the uh, reflective properties of, of the uh, front foregrip, the, the body of the thing, uh, the weapon, and I almost said thing, go figure. How unprofessional, that guy's a douche. And of course, the magwell. Um, the, the really, only the... The only markings on it, which I don't, I don't give it, I, I don't give two shits about trademarks. Uh, you've got your your selector switch, which you probably can't see very well on both sides. Of course, you got your semi, full auto and safety, and then you've got Wii G39C, 
uh, cal 5 comma 5 6 millimeter times 45 and then you got your serial number which in my case it's 99-002038 so you uh, realism junkies are going to kind of be uh, bawling right now <sighs> what else to talk about oh um, this is my makeshift little mm, I don't know. It's just to keep the keep it so that the bolt will still function whenever I'm dry firing. Because I, I absolutely do not like that. It's a pain in the ass. Whenever I first took, well, didn't really take it apart. I popped the magwell out for some reason. Tried to get it back in there. It took me about five minutes to finally get it back in. But the real trick that I saw was working it in, closing it. And then pulling the bat bolt slowly back and slowly forward, and it should just pop into place. Uh, out of the three times I've done it, it's how it's always worked. Uh, you can't just rack it; it doesn't work. Um, eight minutes? Holy crap! Six minutes. Woo, I talked too damn much. Uh, it's a solid gun. I mean, very little wobble whatsoever and the wobbles coming from the inside and you can't help that. The mags fit in and stay nice and solid. Uh, the only time you'll ever get a, an issue with it going in is if your bolt's closed and you've got it like over full. So if you pull a BB out you'll go back in just fine. Um, it's got a good rate of fire. It feels, it feels nice. I mean it's just fun to kind of shoot it around. But I expected more recoil considering that everybody's going on and on about how how much of recoil this thing has. Since I'm thinking about it, all three rails up front are metal. The sling adapter up front is nylon, plastic, fancy, fancy not metal. I don't know. Call it ABS, people freak out. You call it plastic, people freak out. You call it nylon, everybody's impressed even though Nylon's a polymer, ABS is a polymer, plastic is a polymer, and that's a different rant. The uh, rail up tops, it's all plastic. Uh, it's the bolts, of course, going through it. They're metal. You got a little pin up front here, pin up and pin back here. Slide on the sides and back. You've got your pistol sights with the, and they're just open up top. And you've got your, your loop which pick and choose what you want to do and that's fine. It just feels good. I mean, it's, it's a nice weight. It fits, it fits really well. And everything, it's just, don't do that. Don't close it whenever you got your mag on the right side. It just feels really good, you know. Uh, now on to the fun stuff. See, like I said, it's, it's cold right now, so I don't know what it's going to be doing since I've been out here for like 20 minutes. Safety. And, of course, uh, no hammer. Whew. Propane stinks. seems to be cooling down so since it's slowing down considerably quicker on the second mag. Something to pay attention to is how long it takes for it to rack on the uh, very low. Which is the main problem because it just takes forever and it freezes the bolt up even quicker.